Hi everyone. You're welcome to Fuku Mathematics. Okay. Let's provide the solution to this problem. We have t to the power of 3 plus t equals 2. Oh, in case you do not know, this is solution I'm trying to write over there. Now, what do we do? Let's bring this to the left now so that we have our t cube plus t minus 2 equals 0. Okay. And one thing you must know is that the whole of this should be equal to 2. If you're going to minus 2 to get 0, so the whole of this should be 2, right? Now, let's express this in this form. So we still have our t cube plus t minus 1 minus 1 equals 0. Because minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. Then t cube plus t minus 1 cube minus 1 is equal to 0. I'm still trying to get the same, you know, the same thing, right? Look at the whole of this and this. They now look alike, right? Now remember there's nothing like this bracket yet. So let me write it again. t cube plus t minus 1 cube minus 1 is equal to 0. And what I want to do is to rearrange so I get t cube minus 1 cube plus t minus 1 equals 0. And at this point, we can group what we have. So now guess what I'm going to do? Apply difference of three of two cubes. And a cube minus b cube, if you can recall, is the same thing as a minus b, just like we have for difference of two squares. Then we have um, a cube, a squared rather, plus a b plus b squared. So what do you think we will do at this point? What we have here now, t and 1 and minus 1 are representing a and b. So our t is a. In place of this now, I'll write t minus b and our b is 1. Then I have bracket for this a squared, which will be t squared plus a b. a b is... Um, t times 1 and that is t plus b squared that b squared is going to be 1 now so we write 1 here because 1 squared is still 1 then o oh, okay there's supposed to be 1 here right so we have 1 there then plus the whole of that which is t minus 1 then we now equate to 0. Now see t minus 1 here, and it's also here, so t minus 1 is a common factor. Then the whole of this, we paste it here, t squared plus t plus 1 plus this divided by this is 1, so we now equate to 0. Now t minus 1 is a factor, then t squared plus t plus 2 is equal to 0. This is because we have to open the bracket and add these two. Now we continue, we are multiplying this and this to get 0. So when this is 0, Definitely everything here, if you multiply by 0, you will still get 0. And even if it's only this that is 0, this times 0 will still give 0, right? So we now say that it's either t minus 1 is 0 or t squared plus t plus 2 is 0. So t now is equal to 0 plus 1 or the whole of that is 0, right? 
if we work on this, our t is equal to 1. This is one of the solutions. Now, let's pick um, this very equation. Look at it here. And then provide the solution. Remember, that is going to give us two more solutions. Okay, so we're going to use quadratic formula for this. And the formula is t equals minus b plus or minus we have b squared minus 4ac so all of this is divided by 2 multiplied by a now our t is equal to b this b now is going to be 1 the coefficient of t is our b and that will be 1 so we have minus 1 plus or minus we have b squared which is going to be 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times c and our c is 2 so the whole of this is divided by 2 times 1 okay have you subscribed to my channel if you have not subscribe so you can get more of my videos right now t from here is minus 1 plus or minus we have 1 minus 8 1 squared is 1 not 2 4 times 1 times 2 is 8. That's what I have. Then we divide by 2. Now, the next point is to simplify what we have here. So we have t now to be minus 1 plus or minus square root of negative 7. 1 minus 8. Don't forget to divide by 2. Now, our t now is minus 1 plus or minus square root of 7 times square root of negative 1 all over 2. Now our t from here is equal to minus 1 plus or minus we have square root of 7 multiplied by square root of negative 1 which will give us 1, right? Then all of this will be divided by 2. Okay, so Okay, so t now will be equal to minus 1 plus or minus, we have i root 7 divided by 2. And this is a 2 in 1 solution because of this plus or minus. Now let's bring all the solutions together now. We have t to be equal to 1 before, let's call that c1. Then our t2 is from here, minus 1 plus i root 7 divided by 2 and then our t3 is equal to minus 1 minus i root 7 as we divide by 2 so these are the solutions to the problem